Hi, I'm Savannah Padgett and I'm a College of Engineering Ambassador and I'm studying Chemical Engineering. Today I'm with Dr. Yu Lei from the Chemical and Materials Engineering Department. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Sure, uh, happy to. Uh, my name is Yu Lei, I'm an Associate Professor in the Department and also Department Chair. I grew up in China and came to the United States for a graduate study uh, at the University of Illinois in Chicago. Uh, and during that time I spent one year as an exchange student in Germany and come back uh, become a research uh, postdoc uh, at Argonne National Lab under the Department of Energy and I moved here about uh, 10 years ago and like it here um, every second. So. Awesome. So what classes are you currently teaching or have you taught in the past? Uh, I've been teaching chemical engineering thermodynamics and chemical kinetics and reactor design. Uh, these two courses has been along as my interest and also um, along my research area. So I've really enjoyed it, and the students uh, are really um, you know have a lot of feedbacks, and and I enjoy teaching all those classes. So yeah. awesome. Um, what's your favorite t class to teach out of this? Uh, well, uh, my favorite class is um, the reaction engineering class. So let's talk about how, how fast we can produce stuff and how uh, you can steer the chemical reaction to the value added chemicals and, and I really enjoyed it. So. What kind of research do you do here at the university? Ah, so my research area is about um, in the nano technology areas. I create nano sized materials um, as catalysts, for example, to increase the chemical reaction rate so we can make value-added chemicals in a green fashion, for example. Uh, we also create very thin, thin fumes in nanometer size uh, for all sorts of applications like batteries and water treatments and optical uh, devices. If you could rank the different types of engineering, <laughs> <laughs> which one would be the hardest and which one would be the easiest? Oh, I, I don't know about the easiest, but I know chemistry is the hardest one. So uh, if you choose chemistry as your pathway, then you have to think it carefully. Uh, it, it's not easy at all. So, but, but our job here is to make it easier uh, so we can work together and go through this journey uh, and successfully. What do you think makes up a successful student? Um, so you learn something in the classroom and also as an engineering student get hand-on experience uh, to go for internship, to go for co-ops, research experience, study abroad. So do everything inside and outside the classroom and enjoy and, and at the same time get enough rest, which, which is difficult right now. <laughs> <laughs> Could you tell us a little bit about the study abroad program you're starting? Yeah, I'm happy to. Uh, so uh, we got a gr grant from U United States uh, State Department. Uh, we're trying to establish a faculty-led uh, study abroad program in South America, focused on Colombia and uh, Peru. Uh, we visited uh, five universities last uh, semester, and we were quite impressive uh, with their facilities and the students, faculties. Uh, so starting this semester, we hope to um, uh, already um, and create a joint project with them about senior design and hopefully uh, in the summer we can bring our students to visit them and, and spend uh, a few weeks there to study renewable energy sustainability uh, in those topics. So. That's cool. Do you have any advice for students who are considering engineering as a potential pathway for college? Um, yeah, I mean, engineering is fantastic. Uh, if you like new challenges, uh, you want to uh, find the, the edge of, I mean, challenge the edge of, of uh, breakthroughs of in human knowledge. Uh, you know, engineering is, is the thing for you. You want to solve problems. Uh, yeah, engineering, it's about solving problems. So uh, if you like all that, uh, come to engineering, but it's not easy. So um, form study groups. Uh, you know, find a lot of friends uh, with common interest and, and help each other, talk to faculties, and, and we're here all the time. So. so I know that some of the chemical engineering staff plays soccer <laughs> on the weekends. <laughs> um, who would you say is the best soccer player? Uh, <laughs> uh, so yeah, that, that's, we, we are a smaller department, but more than half our faculty actually play soccer. Um, on on uh, on Sundays, some afternoons, um, 
from time to time and together with um, uh, other professors in civil, uh, double E. Um, I can tell you the chemistry faculties are pretty strong. So, <laughs> and yeah, and we have a diverse group. So we have uh, both male and female faculties play together. And we also coming from different backgrounds from, uh, so I'm from China, but we also uh, people from uh, Serbia and South America from Peru, we have Korean. So yeah, we have a diverse team and, and we win. <laughs> So I think I know the answer to this question already, but what is the best engineering related TV show? Oh, <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, hands down uh, Breaking Bad. So uh, we're, we're going to teach you something along the line if you join our program. But, uh, but we have to, uh, but we always said, um, uh, you know, uh, you, you, the more you know, the, the higher responsibility you also have. So. Uh, um, we know those knowledges, but we apply towards how to improve human life and, and uh, those areas. So, um, yeah. what do you think makes certain students stand out among their peers? Um, I think um, I think the engineering students I met so far, uh, you know, are just fantastic. I mean, uh, work really hard, uh, very smart. I think one thing will help us uh, is the time management skills. So if you are disciplined and have a good time management skill, uh, it's more likely will excel. Um, so yeah. Do you prefer coffee or tea? Um, I, I was a very tea, a coffee person, but um, I switched to tea after I get tenure. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any interesting hobbies outside of what you do here at the university? Sure. Uh, uh, in my garage, there are all sorts of tools. I, I do woodworking uh, in my spare time. Uh, I make uh, my, uh, the bed I sleep, uh, make uh, you know, uh, nice stands uh, next to the bed, and dining tables, and uh, all sorts of interesting stuff. And I like to design uh, hidden drawers uh, on those <laughs> furnitures and uh, there's more engineering stuff there, so I enjoyed it. So. That's cool. Um, I think engineering, it's, it's about solving problems. Um, uh, so if, I mean, if you think you are more of a hand-on person, um, going to do more of the hand-on work, uh, start early if you want to more work on the theoretical side. Um, there is a lot of AI stuff, machine learning stuff going on. There's, there's hot topics, uh, regardless in chemistry, civil, uh, double E, mechanical, there's all these hot topics. Um, so there are many problems for us to solve. So um, you know, when, when you start an engineering program, uh, along your career goal with those, solving those, those goals and, and you will make, make you uh, excel uh, long uh, period of time. So um, about your age, uh, I mean, it's a small program, uh, especially for our program. So uh, once you get to, I would say junior year, you pretty much know all the faculty, all the faculty know you. Um, so we, we work um, closely together. Uh, again, it's a very difficult discipline and, um, and it, it requires close uh, collaboration among all the parties. And lastly, um, if you enjoy doing research, go to graduate school. <laughs> what types of jobs or careers could someone in chemical engineering be looking forward to? Yeah, that's an excellent question. So uh, traditionally, chem chemical engineering mostly do the patrol chemical, chemical industrial job. Uh, so making plastics, uh, catalyst, um, you know, all sort of stuff. Uh, but then gradually it, it evolved. And so starting from uh, pharmaceutical medical stuff, uh, biomedical stuff, to semiconductor, um, special materials in aerospace applications, energy, so all sort of stuff you can do. And besides the engineering field, there are people getting, our student alumni get into a patent office, uh, become lawyers, uh, get into a different consulting firms, become doctors. Uh, by the way, chemistry is an excellent pre-med pre major for many, many students. Um, because if you're in the middle of the study, you want to change your mind, say, I, I don't want to go to medical school anymore, you still end up with an excellent degree uh, with a high paid job. 
So um, yeah, it's very very um, diverse uh, possibilities there. Yeah. I know I've seen you in the cafe a lot. <laughs> What's your favorite <laughs> meal to get there? Um, if the line is not too long, I like to go to the international section because they have very different food that I like to enjoy. I like travel, so I, I enjoy all sort of foods from Asia to Europe, European food to South America, American food. So I, I like to try that. Um, but otherwise, I, I think our uh, cafeteria is a highlight for our university. <laughs> so I <laughs> really enjoyed it. <laughs> what does the chemical engineering senior design course look like? Yeah, it's, uh, so chemical engineering design is uh, different from uh, other engineering design, interestingly. Uh, we are doing process design. So other departments, you probably see them making rockets, a drone for double E's and moon buggies or aerospace. Uh, we don't produce a product uh, in the senior design. We produce a process. So you start with how to select a location for the plant to design the reactor, the heat exchanger, and how to supply it, how to make the ships for the operation, and how to separate them later on, and how to storage them and safety. So you are, you are doing the whole plant process design. So it's a, it's a really interesting process. Uh, and this year, we're um, we are doing something uh, interesting as well, and you are part of the team. We're going to collaborate with one of the uh, Colombian universities uh, and uh, have a joint uh, senior design project with them. So uh, one uh, one project with um, uh, the Colombian flavor in it is to do renewable, sustainable kind of uh, design, how to recycle bat, uh, plastics. And then we're going to do another project. It's about um, uh, I think it's uh, how to produce ultra high purity hydrogen in the in the uh, and and liquid hydrogen and use for uh, defense and aerospace applications and that's the Huntsville flavor. So I think we're we're quite exciting about these. But again, our 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 end goal is not to show the audience here is the hydrogen we produce, but it's to show the master plan and how to design all the processes and combine them, integrate them together. If you could time travel and give your younger self while you were in engineering school a piece of advice, what would it be? Oh, um, you want to study hard but enjoy a little bit more life uh, uh, if you when you can. So <laughs> <laughs> things catch up pretty fast uh, once you get into engineering field. So yeah. What made you decide to go into chemical engineering? Uh, I, I think it's probably similar to many people, uh, many chemical engineering students, uh, including myself, decided we are chemi way earlier. We, we know that in high school, uh, we, we find out that we're good at math or, uh, and chemistry, or we enjoy doing math and chemistry. And that naturally lead us to chemical engineering. So, so. Would you say it's more chemistry or more math? <laughs> so it depending on uh, what you do later, uh, if you are doing more of the, uh, it's a nice combination of uh, science and uh, and say chemistry, bio. So that's that that actually makes chemistry, I think, more difficult than other disciplines because we have to study chemistry, physics, biology, math. We take classes from double E, from environmental engineering department, from. Uh, uh, from mechanical, so you have to know uh, integrate a lot of things into the study and make it successful in chemi program. So yeah, you, you, you have to have to be a balance uh, um, integration there. So yeah, but if you want to, I, I mean you can still steer it to different directions. So if you're more into the simulation transport phenomena type, uh, probably a lot of maths are there. Uh, but if you are looking into develop uh, nanomaterials. Um, those areas uh, you need still need mass, but then uh, the chemistry is important over there. So, could you tell us a little bit about the UnitOps laboratory on campus? Sure. Uh, so we have a nice high bay area that house a lot of uh, interesting equipments. So, like I described, the um, senior design project you're trying to combine a lot of process together, and over in uni operation. 
you can practice each of the units so distillation separation uh, pack column uh, filtration system so uh, then when you can put them into perspective and when you have to design them you can just uh, get them together and it gives you uh, some idea when you get into the, the chemical industry you will see them in the larger scale so well, thank you for your time today, Dr. Lei. It's been really nice to get to hear about your experience and the chemical engineering department here. Thank you for watching, and we hope to see you at all of our eWeek events coming up. Well, thank you, everyone. And uh, just a uh, word to Savannah. I know you're graduating soon, and uh, um, uh, I'm, I'm sure whatever you're going to pursue is going to be fantastic. Um, just uh, please come back to visit us more often and then update your great news. Thank you. I think our uh, cafeteria is a highlight for our university, so I <laughs> really enjoyed it.